Three switches right here. And I picked up bitches. That, that's own. just enough right there. That's <laughs> enough. One, two, three. That's well, enough. Yeah, we don't need to get it. We don't need to I told you it's gonna get. We don't play with no regular nigga. On my butter. Don't play my slot. On fourth grade, it will guess like that. Switchy. No talking. No cap. No talking. Three switches right here. And I picked up bitches. That's just enough right there. That's enough. One, two, three. That's enough. We don't even get that shit off. All right, Shalom. To the elect of Yah Sha'Allah. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of you so called blacks, so called Hispanics, Latinos, so called Native American Indians, and you Islamic forms. Let's start off by giving a much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kwadas. Koloim la, Avanawa, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kwadas, and double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and as laboring and works, and Shalom to you believers, to the Akim Wa Akwa, which will be you brothers and few. A modest and says, sisters who do scrub to the truth. I barasaza, this lesson is edifying, playing upon the tables, and a quick hitter. I barasaza. This is your brother Malkaya out here in Pasadena, Texas. This is going to be a quick response on how pretty much two thirds of our nation are just far gone, man. All right. A large portion of our, uh, the people of our nation are destroyed for lack of knowledge because one, they lack the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright. Um it's, it reads here like in the um description. Uh, and this is from Newsbreak app, by the way. It says it reads This video shows young kids showing off their guns with an extra clip of magazine in Chicago. No wonder why there are a lot of murders in Chicago. The kids think it is all fun and game. It's like it is all fun and game until they end up six feet under or prison. Yeah. Um, but let's just get the scriptures. Let the scripture speak for itself. The book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 in the King James Version. My people... Are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Two thirds of our nation, right? The uh, so called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, Israelite foreigners, men, women, children, young, old, right? Are destroyed for the lack of knowledge of Yahweh Bashmir Washai. Okay? True wisdom, true knowledge. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. Yahweh Bashmi Oshai, I will also forget thy children. So that's why two thirds of our nation are going to be put away with. They're going to be put to death. They're not going to be remembered. Uh, mercy in a time of, in the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's wrath. And a lot of our people have children, and their children are also going to be forgotten too. All right? Um, because they've rejected this wisdom and knowledge. And there's no excuse that you haven't heard about this at some point. Because we all over YouTube, man. Uh, the NOT version is pretty good. The New Living Translation, it reads, My people are being destroyed to this day, or constantly being destroyed mentally, spiritually, man. My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. They don't know who. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why a majority of our people treat the prophets a certain way. 
because they don't know him that sent these men, that sent us, Abu Rasul those very prophets, those men coming back again. All right? Just how the world didn't know Yahweh Shai because they didn't know him that sent Yahweh Shai. They didn't know the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You know, we're pretty much imitating like a similar walk. They treat us the way how they do because they don't know him who sent us. Yahweh why Yahweh Shai. Okay? My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. Since you priests refuse to know me, I refuse to recognize you as my priests. Since you have forgotten the laws of your power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, I will forget to bless your children. All right, that's why you see a lot of these gremlins out there. We don't play with no regular, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> on my butter. We do. We don't do play with my slime. Okay. <laughs> Fuck with your slime. Fuck with your slime. Fuck with your slime. Don't play with my 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 slime. Since you ain't good as good for, for, for serving Yahweh Shai, then serve the oppressor, the so-called white man, and get drafted, get sent to the Middle East. So y'all love playing with Esau's blessing, the what the white man's blessing is the sword, which is the gun today. Switchy, no chopper, no chopper. Who's game? Three switches right here, and I put the bitch. That's just enough right there. That's enough. One, two, three. That's enough. We don't even get that shit over. All right, the scene when it's going to fold up when all hell break loose. All right, There's these little rabies and pookies that you stupid ass is like women find so fucking attractive, so big headed for, googly eyes and shit for. That's so why two thirds of our nation just got to fucking go, man. You niggas in the way. Excuse my language, but yo, you motherfuckers in the way. Um, Jeremiah chapter four verse twenty two, in the King James version. For my people is foolish. Two thirds of our nation is foolish as hell. They have not known me. They are shot as children. Shot as me stupid. And just look at the majority of the Israelites you see today. Two thirds right are are, are stupid. They're, they're, they're dumb as hell. Uh, maybe in a common dictionary. Let me, let me see something real quick. Oh. Let's see, here we go. Some similar terms I'm trying to get. You see, it says also, right? Sottish. Right, you see down here, stupid. Right, slow of mind. Given to unintelligent decisions to act. Acting in an intelligent or careless matter, yeah. Lacking intelligence or reason, and two thirds of our people are just pretty much a bunch of brute beasts. They don't have no common sense. Men, women, children, young, old. All right, they they're they're stupid. All right, they're ignorant. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are shot as children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, which is righteousness. They have no knowledge. So the average, you know, is like out there, two thirds. They're real wise when it comes to being a thug, a street culture nigga, a gangbanger, a drug dealer. How to be an adulterous ass nigga, a adulterous ass bitch. A whore, a crackhead, astrology, the fucking zodiac signs, how to go all out for these uh, wicked ass holidays, Christmas, birthdays, baby showers, and Thanksgiving, and Valentine's Day, and this and that, the things of this world, right? Real wise on how to do ev how to do evil shit. Real wise on how to be a sodomite. If you know what a sodomite is. Is a nigga that's a Fruit Loop. Alright, a nigga that ate Fruit Loops, was feeling fruity, wanted to take a nigga booty. These women, these carpet munchers, alright, these shemos, alright, they're real wise in that field, the LGBT no Q thingy, 
the, the, the happy people, the real wise should do that. But they have they have no knowledge to do righteousness. That's why two thirds of our people are gonna have to be put to death, man. A lot of like a lot of our people are just far gone, man. The only way to take them out of the misery, they gotta be put to death. It's like a let's say for an example, a dog that has like rabies. The only way to put that dog out of his misery, you just gotta put it to death, man. Alright? Um the book of Exodus, chapter thirty two. Um, verse 9 to 10 in the KJV. And the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff necked people. I told you, my dude, we know what I told you, it's gonna get. You know what I told you, it's gonna get. You know what I told you, it's gonna get. You know what I told you, it's gonna get. You know what I told you, it's gonna get. Don't play my slime on fourth grade and we'll get like that. Switchy. No time, no cap, no time. Three switches right here. And I picked the bitch. That, that's just enough right there. That's <laughs> enough. One, two, three, that's <laughs> enough. Yeah, big we don't even get our shit off. We don't even get it. Man. Man. Uh, man. All right. And they are stiff necked people. They're hard headed. And the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Oshai said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff necked people. Now, therefore, let me alone. That my wrath may wax hot against them, that I may consume them, and I will make of thee, you, a great nation. Right back then, our power, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh was so pissed off with, uh, you know, Israel when we got delivered out of uh, Egypt. They were just being ignorant, hard headed, stubborn, uh, a stubborn, stiff necked, ungrateful. I probably just wanted to pretty much just start the whole nation off with, with just Moses, man. All right? And if you think about it, you know, you know history merely repeats itself. And, uh, you know, uh, since our power is only going to gather the elect, a remnant, a portion, our power is going to rebuild Yahshua Allah using uh, the elect to make a great nation. Which is Yahshua Allah starting with the elect. Yahweh Shai. Right, starting with Yahweh Shai. And then the, 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 the 144,000 elect men. Okay? That represents the house of David. By Yahshua Tawada. The scripture goes into uh, how... Um, just paraphrasing the scripture. Uh, how a small one shall be a great nation. Let's see. A small one. A great nation. Each brother is pretty much going to be like a nation, man. Our nation as a whole, Yahshua Allah, is going to flourish, man. It's going to be very fruitful, multiplying greatly, man. We will be all over the place. Um, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 22. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will hasten it in his time. All right? Believe it or not, in the kingdom, it's going to be a lot of cheeks being clapped. All right? The Israelite, the Israelite men will be having many, many wives and many concubines. There's going to be a lot of bumping and grinding. It's going to be a lot of sex going on. Yeah, it will happen. All right? So, so... Our power can hasten the two thirds to come back and even bring more Israelites. All right. So Yahweh Bashem Yahushai can be a uh, worship, be phrased, man. All right. How can a small one become a thousand? How can a small one become a great nation? And how can our power hasten that? The Israelite man is going to be clapping a lot of cheeks in the kingdom. Keep it real talk, man. It's going to be a lot of five in the morning, bumping and grinding. Alright, the two thirds uh, got to be put to death on this side so you can come back in your right mind through the lineage, alright, of the elect, okay, become immortals and have uh, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashmi Hoshai embedded in your inward parts and those uh, 
for forever tabernacles, those, those new bodies, those immortality uh, bodies that would never be subject unto sin. You will be perfect. Okay. You will never be this. You will never behave oh, like this. I told you it's going to be. You know what? I ain't with no rhythm, nigga. On my brother. So don't play my slide. I will post play and we'll guess like that. No switches. No time. No cap. No time. Three switches right here. And I picked up. That's just enough right there. That's enough. One, two, three. That's enough. We don't even get that shit on. We don't get it. It's your regular ass. I told you my We don't even get that shit on. Love, I told you it's gonna get. Yeah. You know what? I was no regular nigga. But in order for that, two thirds got to be put to death, and the elect are going to become those those little ones. That's going to become a thousand, a strong nation, and they're gonna have many wives to bring back. Uh, you know, two thirds pretty much. Um, and our power said he wants to hasten it. He wants to, you know, you know, hasten it. Do it quick. And that's going to be done through sex. All right. And we as a people, you know, we as a people, you know, we have that spirit of wanting to be very fruitful. You know, even your average bugged out Jake out here got multiple kids. All right. How much more in the kingdom when everything is done in righteous uh, in, in righteous in righteousness? All right. But, um, Zechariah chapter 13, verse eight through nine in the KJV. And it reads, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, two parts, right, two thirds of our nation, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That applies men, women, children, young, old. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. One third are going to be left therein and be delivered, being beamed up into the chariots. Abaratazah, that's us. Abaratazah, Adewan, Abaratazah. Verse 9, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. They shall... Call on my name, not names, name, and the name is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashim, in the name Yahweh Shai, He saves, He delivers, and He's coming to save and deliver the elect on this side. Which is that one third that should be left therein. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people. And they shall say the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is my power. And that's the elect. Two thirds ain't going to be saying that. Two thirds are going to be calling on all names and any names. Some of them are going to try to call on the true names, but it's going to be too late by then. All right. All right. Two thirds of our nation are going to perish, man. That's more than 50%. All right. Great deaths is coming. For two thirds of our nation, man, that Jacob's trouble is going to be something. Because you got a lot of things like that. Oh my God. Like we do it. So don't play my slide. <laughs> you know, who knows? Mind you, you know, we all come from all walks of life. Some of us used to be like this, all right? But majority of Israel is like this, all right? And they're likened onto that stiff-necked nation, all right? They're rebellious, they're hard-headed. They were born in vain. So in order to uh, put them in their right mind, Yahweh Bashman Osha, I got to put them to death, man. And they'll, they'll just come back in the kingdom of heaven when they're reincarnated through the loin of the elect, Okay, and they'll be in their right mind. Our people as a nation will never be like this again. All right. So uh, I brought this out. The lesson was edifying. I think that's all I got for today's lesson. Yeah. Just want to do a quick little hit on that. You know, it struck the spirit like then, like our people are still behaving like this. And it's only going to get worse, too, especially when society collapse. Okay. All hell breaking loose. 
the famine, the word is, is, is finally upon the people. The prophets are no longer teaching, no longer able to reprove, rebuke, okay, uh, instruct you. All right, all hell breaking loose. Uh, two thirds are going to be waxing worse and worse and worse. Okay, along with the other nations I had too, they're going to be out of. They're already out of their minds now, but a lot more when all hell break loose, when America collapse and it will collapse. So the lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. Repent, Israel. Repent, Yahshua Allah, to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, because two thirds of our nation are going to perish and die, and that's more than fifty percent, and that's a scary ass number. Abaratzah, we are the elect. Abaratzah, you are edified. Let's close out by giving a much do uh, phrases. I'm honor. most great and will get like yeah. Let's give all phrases honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodas Koholoim La Abanawa Alahaya Nawa Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodas Double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much to respect to you since say Akim that is labor and works. And shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Aqwa, which will be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do scribe to the truth. Shalom.